What's up guys, welcome to Jake's Home Lab. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to create a VM on Proxmox and how to install Docker onto that VM. So just a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes. Always secure your systems before exposing them to the internet. Okay, so let's get started. So when you first get into your web UI of Proxmox, you're gonna go up here, press create VM. This is where you select your node if you have more than one in your VM ID. I'm going to change mine to 200, but you can leave yours how it is. And I'm going to name the host machine Docker. This is where you select your OS image. I'm going to be installing Debian. You can install whatever OS you want. Windows is a little bit more complicated, it takes a couple extra steps. If you want me to show you how to do that in another video, comment below. I'm going to be installing Debian. And you always, if you're using Linux, you want to use Qmood agent. And the disk size, I recommend you not going below 32. And you're going to select two cores. Now for memory, AKA RAM, I'm going to move it from two gigs to four. So that's 4092. And this is where you select your network settings. If you have a VLAN, don't forget to tag it. And now you just confirm everything on this list. Make sure everything's correct. And it's going to pop up over here. Once it's done creating, it'll show you right here and you just click it. Then we'll start the VM. Okay, there are two options to install it. You can use the graphical or you can use just the regular old school install. I'm gonna use the regular. Okay, first thing that pops up, you wanna select your language and your territory. And of course, your keyboard layout. Okay, this is where you're going to name the machine. I'm going to name it as Docker. And to get to your other selections, you can just use your arrow key or tab. If you have a domain, you're going to select domain name. Now, this is where you put in your root password. Your root password is separate from your user password. So always make it different. Now you're going to select your name for the user and your username. I'll just leave it the same as Docker. Now this is going to be the password for the user, not the password for your root. Now you select your time zone. Okay, now it's gonna ask if you wanna use the entire disk. I'm gonna select yes. This is where you select your partition. And all files in one partition. Finish. This will probably trick you. You're gonna wanna move to the left and write the changes to disk. Okay, now this is how you install Grub. Actually, I'm wrong. This is how you, where you configure the package manager if you want to search for 
any extra installation media I don't so I'm gonna press no then we're gonna select the mirror and now we're gonna select where it's gonna download from I have the best install quickest installs from this one so I'm gonna use this one if you have a proxy you're typing that information Now this is going to ask if you want to participate. I'm not going to. Okay. This is where you select if you want a desktop environment or if you just want a CLI. Now regardless if you're going to use CLI or if you're going to use a desktop environment. You're going to want to have web server and SSH server. So to select something you just press space. I'm not going to have a desktop environment, so I'll just uncheck all these and I'll continue. Okay, now we're going to install Grub. You're going to want to press yes. Select your partition. Now it's finished installing and it's going to ask you to reboot. Okay, once you reboot, you're going to want to click Debian at the top. Okay, now we're going to log in. Okay, so when you first log in, I'm going to show you how to SSH. It's just a lot easier for you just to copy and paste these commands. So we're going to type in IP, A, adder. And it's going to show you IP address. Remember, don't share your IP addresses. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. I will delete this VM afterwards. So you're going to want to find this. It's 192.168.1.137. And now we're going to switch over to the terminal. Okay, once you get into the terminal, you're going to type SSH, the username that you're logging into. So for mine, it's Docker. And you're going to type that IP address. So it's You're gonna press enter now don't just type Y you're gonna to want to type yes in then you're gonna to want to put your password okay now let's get to the install process okay so the first thing we're gonna to, gonna to want to do is switch over to root so sue then you're gonna type in your password sue stands for switch user by the way and this password is for your root username. Okay. So when we're in here, we're going to want to apt install sudo. If you have the desktop environment, sudo should already be installed. So you don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to want to add our users to the sudo group. So we're going to type in sudo user mod dash a g and linux is case sensitive so you have to match it exactly and now you're going to type in the group that you want to add the user to so that's sudo then you're going to type in the name of the user which is docker enter now you're going to restart your vm then you're going to log back in and you will have to re SSH back into the terminal.
okay now that you're still signed into the regular user this is how you check to make sure you're added to a group you're going to type in groups as you can tell we're in sudo now we're always we're going to check for an apt update so we're going to sudo apt update okay says all packages are up to date now we're going to install curl curl so you're going to type sudo apt install curl dash y dash y make sure there's no interruptions and it's just going to go straight through the install now we're going to install ca certificates So we're going to type sudo apt install CA certificates curl g-n-u-p-g dash y. Now we're going to add the gpg key. And I'm going to paste all these commands down in the description so you can just copy and paste. Then we're going to add Docker to the repository. Now we're going to sudo apt update again. Now we're going to install Docker itself. The command is sudo apt install docker dash ce space docker dash ce dash cli container dot io docker dash build x dash plugin docker compose dash plugin dash place dash y Now we're going to make sure that Docker is running. So you're going to type sudo system ctl status docker. And it should pop up. If it's active, it's going to show active running. You want to make sure it is enabled, which makes it automatically start on boot. Let's do a couple more verifications. We're going to type docker ps and if this pops up then it's good but if you want to take it a step further we're going to type in this command it's going to be sudo docker run hello world it's not going to find it locally so it's going to pull down the image and it's going to show you that it was installed if this doesn't pop up I'll say just retry the video again. This has been Jake from Jake's Home Lab. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this type of content, I know it was a little bit different. Comment down below and I'll make more videos on it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.